The NHS Northwest Leadership Academy is a members organisation focused on senior leadership development for our Northwest organisations and it also identifies those talented individuals within those organisations and nurtures them as future leaders. My background is finance. I joined the NHS straight from university in 1997 onto the graduate training scheme and from then on I've only ever stayed in the NHS. It's something I know and love and, and really enjoy working for. Good yeah, to okay. see you again. Nice to Please see you again. Right. Thank you very much. I've come to learn about the Aspiring Directors programme from actually working at the SHA. I've been surrounded by some really good directors that have really believed in me uh, and pushed me to my limit every time in thinking that I can make a change in the NHS and that they felt that this would be the best course to, to push my talents along for the next stage of my career. A number of years ago it was nationally recognised that we didn't have individuals ready to step into director roles um, or those in director roles ready to step into chief executive roles um, and so it was felt that we really needed to do a lot more to prepare those individuals. Today's NHS is complicated and is um, a challenging environment in which to manage and lead. We've worked in partnership really on, on delivering the programme with the King's Fund. They have been very open to um, having that partnership so that we can shape those programmes um, for them to be fit for purpose. This programme is all about improving patient care and that's why we've become directors. And what, what this course has given me are the skills needed um, and the insight required to make sure that every decision I make is patient care related and patient focused. The qualities I think that make a good director are an ability to take an overview to understand the range and scope of what they're responsible for, but also the things that are around the periphery that, that, that have an impact. Previously, individuals have worked within a hierarchy and often work with authority. Um, and I think today's NHS leaders can't work in that way anymore. I think it is very much around your um, skills of influencing, negotiating, and I think it demands a lot more of individuals. The course was structured in uh, two main groups. One was the theoretical background and then trying to apply that to uh, scenarios. You should be able to pick up the theory quite easy. What was difficult for us as aspiring directors was to understand how that would work in practice. It's really starting to deliver the talent that we need to take up some of the most senior jobs in, in the NHS in an environment that's about learning and that's about generating a sense of esprit de corps amongst leaders in the North West. What I've been able to take away from the course and bring to my workplace have been a, a multitude of sort of new skills and self-awareness. In my experience, good leadership impacts on patient care through working with staff to ensure that they see the patient as the priority and that services are built around the needs of the patient and that day in, day out, staff are encouraged to focus on areas for improvement, to work together to solve problems, to ensure that they're always thinking about how we can provide a better service to patients and getting that culture and way of working with that can-do attitude is a, a key leadership challenge and one where I think leaders can make a real difference.